Here we go. Hey, everybody. What's up? What's up? You you know the name. You know the guy. I'm yours truly right here in person. My real voice, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, podcast here, guys. We're going to talk about another uh, fascinating topic. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're in the mood of saying wow all the time, this one's for you. Uh, I want to talk about children. Now, people might say children, child, son, daughter, whatever. Okay, that's a re uh, on this planet. Now, what God says, this is what God says in the Bible. He speaks for the children of this planet. I kid you not. Um, he gives uh, he gives a few scriptures in the Bible that would how do you say it? this is remember this is from the Bible side of things. What God perceived children on this you know earth. Uh, now. My my thought, my principal thought would say, "Gods are children, or children God, or something." To rephrase that is like uh, saying, uh, "We're God's children." That was I was trying to say. Uh, we are God's children, and sometimes, sometimes, God has uh, saying in a nice way. He's not an evil God. He's not a, you know, raid upon the humans. Um, he's a nice God. I perceive God as being a nice person, nice, uh, you know, God-like figure. And uh, my, uh, I, I'll give you a story about some, uh, somebody. somebody uh, well, my friend, who of 31 years, just the past 10 years or so, uh, was heavily into the Bible. Heavily. And I'm not I'm just saying that. Heavily in the Bible. Uh, the scriptures to him is like uh, news every day. It's like you're getting... CNN news or to Fox News, well, that's not the news that people like to hear. The news that people like to hear is like you're going to church and you're hearing the God's word. You're hearing the God's word. That's what you should be doing. But God has for God means for everybody, included. And I get this, people, children, yes, children or child or son, daughter, whatever the phrase means. God has a, a purpose for them. Because uh, remember, it doesn't matter if you're a, uh, an adult, little kid. Uh, we don't treat our, uh, we're not our brother's keeper, essentially, is what I'm saying. We're not, people don't own anybody. Um, the whole phrase of saying, we, uh, nobody owns anybody. I always hear this time and time again. Uh, we're not owned by anybody. We don't have, you know, uh, a number in our head saying, oh, Okay, we're a number as humans. That would be really into the future. I mean, it's like George Lucas' future kind of thing. There was a there was a film called uh, People Should Go Check This Out. It's called T H X. Now, what that stands for is beyond me. But there was a movie about people were become numbers, numbers in their head, on top of their head, numbers. We're all a number. Yeah, that's Tortorian, as they say in politics. But anyway, I want to talk, just to talk about children in general in this planet. These are children between 1 and 15, uh, in terms of age. And the um, Bible gives few scriptures about what children on this planet mean to God or Jesus or our Lord and Savior. It's kind of like going to church Sundays and reading the Bible. They only do it from the adult standpoint. They don't go from the children standpoint. Uh, but I want to speak about the children, uh, children of certain age. I'll give you from the age of one to fifteen. And they speak. These are. Uh, I'll give you verses. Now people like to hear verses about this. It, it tells you plain, uh, clear on this website. Uh, now. Uh, now people now listen listen the scripture that people should go to now listen to me when I put this on YouTube uh, uh, go to Genesis 33 that's Genesis 33 in your Bible verse 5 it does describe what children mean to God I kid you not another verse if you're inclined to check out the Bible um, this is tons of verses Matthews ever heard of uh, verse Matthews if you look in the uh, Bible book you'll see a uh, what you call chapters in the Bible. 
One of them was Matthew. Okay, this is a Matthew. Anyway, nonetheless, it does give you, it does say that. I'm not going to read out the whole thing. You guys go look out the verses in your own Bible if you have it. King James Version to the regular version to uh, the New Testament. I always hear people say the New Testament. Go check that out. Maybe it says something about children. But here, here's another thing. Here's another thing, people. Now, get this. Get this. Now, you heard of the name Matthew. This is any son out there who's called Matthew. Well, the Matthew in the Bible, go to, uh, uh, go to a section called tw uh, 21, 15, 20, 16. Those pages. Uh, uh, and these are verses. These are essentially Bible verses, as they would interpret it. Um, and they'll scribe of what children of this world on this planet who are living now, not the ones that are passed away, but the ones that are still living on this planet, like as humans, not as, you know, aliens or from another planet kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but we're, we're talking about children, like real children. These are real living per people. Like if, if a mother were to have a little child, it's simply like that. Um... No part intended. But, you know, a mother thinks of his little child as precious. You ever heard the word precious? Well, they tend to use that sometimes. If the, you know, mother has, you know, I won't go in, uh, in tutorials like that, but you guys understand what I mean. Uh, but anyway, so this is a topic I want to run everybody uh, in, the, in the church. When you go to church services, any type of church around this planet, around this world, they only do it by uh, the standards of an adult standards in the Bible. They don't go into sections where children. They don't deep down uh, do children scriptures. Uh, they they only they only say it in an adult sense, not a children's sense, an adult sense, so they can grasp at it. Um, but here on a website, it does me what it means so I'll, I'll put this in in the title of this YouTube video and really dig deep about this really really a story that needs to be told out there essentially the t I'm here for the voice to the voiceless out there if anybody doesn't have a voice I'll make sure people have a voice for this one uh, and see if the people don't want to speak up I'll speak for them centrally uh, it's like it's like having a person. Uh, just the case of the person is disabled. I don't want them to be disabled, but if it happened, I'll speak for them, and I'm hopefully in God's grace, I'll help them out. But that in mind, we're just talking about the subject: children, Head, a headline children, son, daughter, you know, of a certain age. Yeah, uh, this is the, from the mother's side, not from the father's side. Rishi, a mother inherits a son or whatever. Daughter, they have the, you know, in the family. They would say in the family. That's in quotations. And um, and um, yeah, uh, mothers always think children are precious. You should, uh, if you go to any house, they'll say that. Trust me, any house around the world. Uh, and they do mean what they mean. They mean God's our children, and they do mean children is like precious to anything in the world it's like water to <laughs> how do you say water to food to food to uh, life essentially uh, and I'm not teasing anybody anyway so the whole subject about children I want to really emphasize this uh, children mean sons daughters of a certain age uh, uh, the, the age bracket would be 1 to about 15 certain age uh, that's the child that's in that sort of age bracket. Uh, these are not aliens. These are not aliens from, uh, or, you know, from a different universe. These are just real children that mother have, uh, you know, uh, that uh, go around taking their children to schools and stuff like that. And uh, to business places, growing up as being a man. But we won't talk about men today. We want to talk about children. The, the word children. Now, God does mention that in the Bible what children means to God. I say, sometimes I say to people, God's our children, or children, God. Children of God. Uh, they have the uh, eyes of God, of children. Uh, children are precious, we know that. Uh, mothers always like to uh, make sure they don't get, uh, you know, 
in any danger around the world. Uh, it's good. Yeah. But that's what mothers are supposed to do. They're, that's what their duty is, essentially. Um, uh, you know, make sure their children around the world is kept safe. And uh, so we want to emphasize the word children or sons and daughters, too. Okay, this is not relating to guys. This is relating to daughters as well. Any type of children, okay? The genre kind of thing. Okay? But we want to talk... We work on this... On this YouTube video, we want to emphasize that. Children, that's the topic we want to talk about. And dig deep. The Bible really mentions it very clearly here on this website. Uh, and you can go to these Bible scriptures yourself. Uh, just go to that and you'll they'll tell you very plain and clear what God means to children of this world. Uh, sometimes children... If you think about it as the Bible, uh, how do you, in your, in a little kid's eyes, they don't even know what uh, the Bible stands for them because they're just grown up. Remember that they're just grown up from one to fifteen. Uh, they might not know the Bible inside and out. Uh, all they know is they're living, breathing children, and uh, that's all they need to know. Really, I get that. I get that, but. Uh, why I mentioned the age is because uh, God does say that in the Bible. These are Bible scriptures that uh, relate to what children mean to God or Jesus or whatever people uh, think of uh, God or Jesus or our Lord and Savior. And this is this is for the righteous God. They always say the righteous God. That's the God I want to work with. You know, he's, he's not evil God. He's not the evil God of this planet. That's for the devil, as I would say. The devil does harm to this planet, which is not good. Like, for instance, God is kind of fighting with the devil. The devil is fighting with God, vice versa. And, um, and they're at odds for each other. <laughs> Can you not? Could you imagine it be a fight in the heavens with God and Jesus in heaven and hell? Yeah, that's kind of like that. Uh, they, uh, God wants to essentially kick out uh, a hell out of the world. You know, clear the air, kind of clear the air of hell, and that's essentially it. But we want to—I'll put that in the title of this video of, on YouTube. I want to emphasize that, and I will, and I'll mention it here on the titling. And uh, yeah, so anyway, go to this. This is uh, this is very clear. You can read this very clearly here. Scriptures about children and what today God describes children as. I know, I know it's from the mother's standpoint, but this is what God stands for. I'm talking about the other realm, the God's realm, what God means to children, okay? So, not to uh, cut a kettle black here, per se, uh, but that means, you know, any children, if you, if you see little kids around the world today, you'll know what God means to them. All the humans in the planet would think children are like, like very precious they think children are very precious you know make sure they're not from harm you know kind of thing uh, you know the whole saying but I want to really emphasize this whole thing I'm sorry I'm taking up too much time you guys this is going to be a podcast I will put this in the title of my video and it will go up on my YouTube channel I won't mention my YouTube channel name because you a lot of people will find it out anyway uh, but I will, I will tell you this. I'm just, this topic is definitely directed to children in a good way. Not a bad way, not a, you know, uh, sadistic kind of thing. Um, it's just about good children going up to God or in the heavens after they leave this world. And God says that in the Bible. I'll give you scriptures right here in front of me. Uh, but that's when we pass away. So... I'm not trying to be sad. I'm not trying to, you know, spoon food you people. But this is what God really means when we leave this world to when we're alive. You know, any children around us, son, daughters, you name it, of a certain age, between 1 and 15. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I just want to hammer this down because I always think that people are, sometimes they would say our children. Remember that word, our children? Well, I just looked it up. This is what God means for our children. 
And that's what I mean. So I'm going to emphasize this on the YouTube video. We, uh, now, children are not owned by anybody, okay? Just so you know, we're not brothers keeper. You ever heard that phrase, we're not or brothers keeper? Well, truth form, that's what I mean. So, God looks up as our children once we leave this planet. Uh, we're just precious little children, as mothers would say. But once children leave this planet, they go up to, you know, the man upstairs, which a lot of people should know, Jesus. Yeah. Once we leave this planet, but that's I'm just I'm, this could be in any gender. Any gender doesn't mean if you believe in God or atheist. If you're not believing God, this is for you guys. I, I do all gender, all gender of little kids. So here we go. Anyway, sorry about my uh, little. This is not a rant. This is just getting to the facts and want to be honest and truthfully, and really, really hammer down on this topic. Um, just so people know what I'm getting at. Um, just in uh, in my eyes, I want to... Because you hear people say these phrases, and I'm always wondering what they really stand for. Uh, people say you have to go to Google, you have to go to... They'll, they'll rephrase it, and they'll tell you what the God's Bible's versions really mean. <laughs> but anyway, but when you're in a church, people, remember, they're only saying from an adult standpoint of the verses in the Bible. They're not just saying it for little kids of a certain age. Uh, usually the uh, Bible directs it to adults of a certain age. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I don't want to go anymore. See you guys on the next podcast. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a lesson. And all the children around the world, no matter who they are and what they look like, they're, all, they're children to Jesus, trust me. As long as they're not aliens from another universe or another universe you know how people would say as long as they're not alien as long as they're they're not disabled uh, you know they can't walk can't use hands can't use feet or they can't talk as long as they're a human being they're good to go essentially yeah, if you got two uh, two, uh, two uh, feet hands you're good to go you're just a regular human being on this planet <laughs> and definitely you're just precious for everybody anyway i ran off a long time see you guys on the next pub ciao for now everybody i hope you learned something